So now we're going to look at the second property of indifference curves. And the second property says that indifference curves do not intersect. So what exactly is going on here? Well, we've got an example here of a bad indifference curve diagram. So what we've got is here we have one indifference curve representing a utility value of 20. And we've got another indifference curve here representing a utility value of 50. So we can clearly see that here they're actually uh, crossing or they're intersecting. So what does that mean? Well, if we had, say, three units of good Y and, say, five units of good X, then at this point, it's going to simultaneously give us a value of 20 and 50. Well, that doesn't really make any sense. So let's think about it. If we had, say, three cans of Coke and five cans of Pepsi, and we, at the same time, have a value of 20 and a value of 50, uh, no, that combination is only going to give us one value. So, that's to say, we can't have two different values for the same bundle. A particular combination of good X and good Y has to only give us one utility. Another reason why this graph is wrong is that it's also going to violate the principle we saw before. So, in economics, we're always going to say that the more you have, the better off you are. So, if we were to pick a point here, on this indifference curve of utility value of 50, we're going to have this much units of good Y and this many of good X. So let's say we had three of each. But then at this point, we can clearly see that we're going to have more of good Y and more of good X. So if we were consuming this bundle of goods here, then clearly we're going to have more than we did before. So by definition, we're saying we have to be better off the utility value of that higher point has to be greater than the one we had before. But we can see here that the way we've drawn the indifference curves, that at this lower point, we had a utility of 50, and that by having more, we've now actually decreased our utility. That's going to be a contradiction. So we've now found another reason why this graph here is a bad indifference curve diagram.